Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, Future Stars number two, team two, round two, whatever you want to call it, was released on FIFA. I want to talk about the team, the content, the market, and the madness that happened today. A lot of prices fluctuating, a lot of panic selling, not a lot of rebounding. I want to talk about that and how I feel this market is headed over the next couple days. And of course, also set the stage for the French center back SBC that will be coming most likely today in FIFA. Of course, the FIFA talent scout that they've been tweeting about, if you guys hadn't seen, I want to kind of preface that because we will get a big time SBC today and that could be more market movements as well. First things first, this is the new team, right? You guys know the players that are in packs. Ansu Fati and Saka are headlining uh, team two. This webpage actually was updated 10 minutes before the content drop yesterday on Friday. So again, it was leaked, I guess, again by EA. Uh, but honestly, as I look at this team, I feel like it's underdone again. I feel like the upgrades, especially for Ruben Diaz, I would have loved to see the 80 pace from EA there. Um, you know, Anthony only getting three-star skill move, a three-star weak foot instead of a four-star weak foot. That would make this card a lot more usable. I mean, some of the cards are cool, right? Nuhas is great. Bastoni fills a need for the need for Syria center backs. Jonathan David is cool. Um, Linez is cool, um, but for the rest of this team, it's honestly like EA, I think we could have done a little bit better. But of course, at the top tier, at the very tippity top, Ansu Fati and Saka. Saka being extinct at 2 mil and Ansu Fati being about 4 million coins. Cracked out cards, team of the year level, honestly, if you look at their stats. And, uh, you know, you're going to pay the price for those, and that's where a lot of the hype is. But as we get down into here, there are some cool looking cards, right? Um, you know, this, this tap soba looks like an absolute tank, but I feel like EA could have done a little bit better with player selection and with some of the boosts as well. But that's besides the point because that didn't really drive the market movements that happened today. There was a lot of market movements today based off of the main man, Curtis Jones, Liverpool fans rejoicing at this Curtis Jones SBC. And especially for the center mid version, that Hullet gang all 80 statistics, high, high work rates, English links, Premier League links, four-star, four-star SBC card that we got yesterday. And a lot of people are doing this SBC. If we take a peek in Footbin, coming in at about 430K with SBC fodder going up, right? We said in yesterday's video, it's got to be a hype SBC for to make fodder prices rise. And this is a big time hype SBC. So you did see some prices rise yesterday. 4,000 uh, 4, upvotes, of course. A lot of people did this SBC. I'm telling you, this is very, very, very completed. Again, links to Rooney, links to Tavernier, a lot of the other popular link, uh, English links that have been going on recently in FIFA, uh, especially since that Rooney came out. Uh, this card is very, very completed. You're probably going to see him a lot in Weekend League. That'd be my guess. A lot of people are doing this card, and I think that affected the market today because, again, when you see SBC fodder going up like this, this is the Index 86. Um, this means that more and more coins are getting drained off this game, but we'll continue to talk about that in a bit. Um, I want to talk about these future star card prices because these guys are bouncing around like crazy, right? They were stupid high, really, really high today. They did not start low like the first set did. There was not as many saved up packs. Some guys went low and then rebounded a tiny bit. Like, um, Linez, I think went from like 90 K to, to like 120 or something. There was a, there's a couple flipping possibilities early in the day today. Um, Ruben Diaz is like 596. He was up at 700 K. Now he's down. Uh, but these guys dropped off heavily into the nighttime a couple hours ago about midnight uk a lot of these guys hit a low point new house went from 350k down to 210,000 coins is back up to 250 jonathan david was 300k went down to 200k back up a little anthony was at 900k like all uh, day at the start of the promo dropped off severely check this out 900k for the first few hours dropped off down to about 690 just under 700 and now he's back up to 750 as these cards get rare and as they rise up into saturday ruben diaz i actually picked one of him up at 468,000 coins he is now up to 528 so we're looking real pretty right there um you know a lot of these cards got really really low again this is a common theme that we see when it's very popular promo cards that people want to try out they get very low after people who try to flip the cards earlier in the day uh, can't complete their flips because the cards drop and they just sell to get their coins. And of course, the nighttime supply dries up, less people are on the game and the cards kind of drop off. 
this has been one of the most, um, co not consistent, pretty consistent way, but just a popular way to trade this year in FIFA with these brand new promo cards is the first night they do dip really low. So we're making some good profit there. Um, you know, that's what I was kind of looking forward to tonight uh, in the later night time frame. We, we call them like, you know, Friday night flips or, or Saturday flips, honestly, with the new promo cards. So there was a lot of market movements. Like this, this Bastoni was 380K. He went down to 280. Now it was back up over 300. So a lot of market movements on the impacts cards. And that's what I'm calling the madness today. But as well with cards that were affected by Curtis Jones, because take a look at this. Conte's inform is the number one prime suspect that I want to show you today on this video as an inform as a special card they got hit a lot today in price. Conte's inform was 590,000 coins this morning before Curtis Jones dropped. A lot of people sold their midfielders, did that Curtis Jones SBC, and you're seeing these midfielders, um, they're down a lot in price. Another one that's taking a huge hit, and this card just keeps dropping. I was looking to possibly get involved at 700K, and this guy is now at like 670,000, 660K is this Gerard Inform. Now, I do think these cards bounce back, right? Because just like we had center backs kind of bounce back after Boateng's SBC, this Curtis Jones SBC is out for 13 more days. It's out for two weeks, basically. I do think you will see cards start to bounce back uh, later on this week. This is an icon, right? Gerard's icon. Yes, he also links to the new Curtis Jones. So I think a lot of these guys will bounce back. I think Conte will bounce back for sure, especially with that French center back possibly coming today, more links possibly coming in there. Um, but if you had a midfielder today, uh, Pogba's second in form, I flipped one of these for 550,000 coins um, Thursday after rewards, Thursday night into Friday. And I believe this card now is like under 500K for this 88 rated in form Pogba. He's taken a massive, massive hit in price. And of course, EA does not like to show listings because the transfer market is just so glitched out this year. It's ridiculous uh, and it sucks. But uh, a lot of center midfielders took a big, big dip in price today um, with that Curtis Jones coming out because a lot of people are doing that SBC. I didn't mention objectives yet, right? Foot Future Stars Academy, Renier, Brazilian striker in the Bundesliga. Uh, a lot of you guys might remember Mateus Cunha, Winter Refresh from last year. This card kind of reminds me of that. Uh, dynamic image pointing at you, you do my objective. Uh, but that's kind of an interesting card with cool links. Of course, you have a lot of people looking at like a, a record breaker, J Jaden Sancho, and a rule breakers, Douglas Costa as nice link investments to a card like this. So watch the weekend league sell off on those two items specifically, because like we saw with Insigne and some other cards, um, this, I think people are going to do this card, right? At the very least, it doesn't take that many games. It's not that hard to do. And a lot of people will have some version of this card. Uh, like you have to force, you score four goals to get the very first one. So everybody's going to have like the base base version of this card for down the road, maybe for like icon swaps when they come out next. Um, you know, maybe you need like first owner Bundesliga players for that. But I think that some of those Brazil in the um, Bundesliga and some of the Dortmund links might rise a little bit with this card because it is pretty good, right? And if you're on a lower budget, that card's great for your for your team. I do think a lot of people will do that one. Um, people were asking me, do you think we'll get more Foot Future Stars Academy players this week? Since we're in the second week of the promo, this is out for 27 days. So it's not like EA is having to stop when the promo ends this next Friday because the second team, we didn't say this at the beginning, but the second team is out in packs for one week. So it's a full two week promo. Um, this is out for 27 days. So it's basically out for a month almost. These This Future Stars Academy Renier. I would expect probably one to two more of these Future Star Academy players over this next week during uh, Future Stars. I think they'll add a couple more in because of course they know that this that's a pretty hyped way that they can put out cards in FIFA right now. And I think that that'll be a way they want to try to get people involved with objectives and with playing the game once again. So I do expect a couple more of those. Since it's starting in the second week of the promo, I'm not sure if we're going to get like, I think last year we had four or five of them. I don't know if we'll get that many this year. We'll set, we'll have to see. Um, but that definitely is something we'll keep an eye on. And I do expect more of those throughout the week. I don't think that'll be our only one. That, that would honestly be a shame if that was our only Future Stars objective player. But I'm still kind of watching some of these cards on the market. Now, I did. I had actually a really, really solid day of flips live on stream. We streamed on Twitch, link down in the description, uh, for a while today. 
uh, flipping some cards, right? In the first, you know, minutes after that Curtis Jones SBC came out, I went and looked at this Rule Breaker Harry Kane, very popular card, fluctuates a lot in price. I bought this for 1.23, sold it for 100K up. I bought this Drogba for 1.35, sold it for 1.45. And uh, I bought this, I actually got a little bit lucky with this knee house. I bought this for 330, sold it for 357 on a lazy sale, quick profit right there. And the rest of these were kind of lazy buy or lazy sales from the night before. But I did buy a Cancelo today because there was a lot of investments that people made possibly to like link to Ruben Diaz. And we saw some of those get sold off as well. Cancelo's in form which has always been a car that's been kind of heavily invested in. How much is he right now? Looks like he's still running around 200K. Um, I still think this is a card that has a decent amount of people investing in it. It looks like it's stuck right at 200. Um, so we'll see what happens there out of the weekend, of course, like that. But again, one thing I want to make a point of on this current market is I feel like the market is losing some steam. I feel like we're losing a bit of that buying power on this game because if you take a look at some cards around the market, some stuff didn't really rise today. There really wasn't that big of a rise post uh, 6 p.m. into the nighttime. A lot of these guys are kind of in their same price range. If there was stuff that bounced back, it was stuff that was panic sold first and then bounced back, right? Like this Teo Hernandez was 940K. He went back down to 850 and is now only up to 880. Uh, this this Lozano went from like 670 to 620. Now he's back to 638. So you, you did see panic selling today. Where's foot freeze? Um, foot freeze, foot freeze, Alan St. Maximin was down at, at like 1.2 flat. He was back up to 1.27. Usman Dembele was down at like 1.4 lows. He's back up to 1.53. So the stuff that rebounded back was the really rare and the really meta stuff. But if you look at the rest of the market, a lot of stuff is still chilling or it's even down, right? This De Bruyne was 450 on Thursday night after rewards. He's now 408. Um, Kimmich is 225. That's kind of in the exact same range. Even some of the low tier stuff, Jota, 66K, Pepe, 53, Gomez, 195. A lot of this stuff is kind of just staying in its range. It didn't really explode today after 6 p.m., even with the stuff that came on the market uh, or with the, the lightning rounds that were open with the coins coming out. And one way to really see that the market is not in a place where it can support these higher prices anymore is the icon market, 88 points. Usually what we see on a promo Friday is we see a panic selling into 6 p.m., a dip with supply, and then a rebound that goes higher than what it was earlier in the day. The market this morning for the icons was 89 points. We went down to 85, basically. We rebounded 87, and we're still kind of chilling in that 86 range. So these icons are even kind of slumping down in price a little bit too. Now, of course, some of them did fluctuate around. Like we were talking about, I did flip that Drogba. But uh, there's, you know, it just feels like this game right now, people have been doing player picks for the past week, right? With future stars out, they're going to be doing player picks for the next few days because people just want to try to pack these cards. They're pretty easy to pack. So EA has kind of set up a perfect, perfect storm here with this 81 plus upgrade with multiple icon SBCs out, multiple SBCs that are doable, that entice people, right? And today we're getting another one. We're getting a French center back SBC. If you remember this tweet from EA, I don't think I showed it to you guys yet. This tweet from earlier this week, we're going to get another center back SBC from France today. So it could be any of the young stars that are French center backs. It might be Fofana, might be Premier League, might be Todibo. Uh, I think he's in the league un. So there's just a ton of possibilities today. So we're going to be watching out for those French links. And honestly, if you're looking across the market right now, I'm already starting to see some people maybe prepare for that SBC. I'm already seeing... Here's one example. This Casemiro was 450 before the content drop today. He was panic sold down to 400K, rebounded to 440, and just a couple minutes ago was 390. Now he's, you know, he's he's, out, he's a very rare card. He's going to fluctuate around a lot, but it looks like some center backs, I think I was looking at Mid Blanc. Mid Blanc was actually down like 50K. I'm really starting to wonder if people are going to sell. Yeah, he's still down a little bit, 970. Just a little bit down, but I'm really starting to wonder if people are going to sell off some of those uh, French center backs because they're expecting a big time SBC today. Um, you know, it, it depends on who EA decides and how they price it, but a French center back 
could be massive for this game because of course that's a lot of links a lot of people like to have in their in their club is french if it's a good card if it's well priced and it has good stats it's, if it's hype as well, then you're probably going to see a bit of sell-off today, a bit of panic, and uh, people will be very eager to put a card like that in the team, depending on the stats and the price and the links that that card gives, depending on the league, right? We know it's going to be French, so definitely watch center backs today. Watch midfielders, watch outside backs, um, you know, watch some of those cards because that could be even more market movements today that you might want to be careful with. And if it's another SBC that is very hyped that a lot of people want to do, it could drain even more coins off of this market. So I do expect some of the Future Stars cards to rise again a bit into the morning today on Saturday because they're just rare. People want to try them out. They are kind of hyped in a sense. Um, and I do, just like we saw last week, I don't know if you guys remember, uh, but last week we saw the Steven Bergwijn card it was like 1.2 million coins on um, on Friday night, he went back down. He, he went back up into Saturday morning, like 1.25. And then on Saturday, again, he went down to 1.1 flat. Right before lightning rounds, he was sold down because people thought he was going to get packed. He was going to get supplied. And then he bounced back right after that because people wanted to continue to try those cards out. And there really wasn't that much supply from lightning rounds. Now today, the cards I would tell you to keep an eye on with that same kind of idea would be Fatih, Reyna, Ruben Diaz, Saka, if he's not extinct, Anthony, and T Tapsoba, right? The high-rated cards, the ones that are the most, I guess, desirable, you could say. The ones that, if you watch their prices, fluctuate the most regardless. Uh, and the most rare cards in the promo team, those are going to be the ones that could have movements like that today. So definitely keep an eye out for those. Now, a lot of these guys have bounced back from where they were, as we talked about earlier. Um, you know, these guys were low and they've bounced back. But I still think this Reese James card is, is too expensive, right? This 87 James, the CDM version, is the same price. They're literally the exact same price almost as the eight, the right back Reese James. This one has 11 more pace. I don't understand why the CDM Reese James has the hype that it does. Are you really worried about the plus nine shot for a card that has 80 pace and like not as good work rates? Um, the right back Reese James is high medium. This one is also high medium for a CDM. That's not exactly what you want. You really want more of like a high high or a medium high um, so that they stay back a little bit more. So I'm really confused on some of these cars, but they're still rare. I think there's more time for them to drop as their prices were too high on day one. So definitely keep an eye on those today as we do try to flip them and mess around with them on this market. So it's kind of a big time Saturday, right? And that's why I kind of call this market madness because I feel like the market's kind of losing its its steam as people are, you know, um, maybe losing a little bit of interest or just spending a lot of coins into upgrade packs and stuff like that. I do think you will see a pretty healthy weekend league sell out this weekend. So we'll be watching that for sure. As we head out of this weekend, we'll talk about it more tomorrow night on the video. Of course, watch out for really meta cards. Road to the finals. Uh, especially because we have those games coming up this next week. If you do see low prices on those, that could be a place where you get involved sooner or rather than later as an investment that you could maybe sell as people buy those cards out of the weekend league with the games coming this week. So that's kind of a little market update video talking about the content today, how I feel about it. I want to know you guys' thoughts as well. Drop it down below if you have any questions or what you think about this promo content from today, the team, the objectives, the SBCs, what have you. Let me know. Tell me if you made some coins because there were a lot of coins to be made if you picked your spots right, for sure. Um, but there were also a lot of coins to be lost today as well uh, if you didn't or if you had some like prem midfielders or midfielders uh, in your team that got hit because of Curtis. Um, that was definitely a reality today as well. But if you enjoyed it, make sure you smash a thumbs up, comment down below if you have questions and subscribe. If you're new, it's been Nate's Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.